Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back with another early learning activity video for your preschoolers. Stay tuned. <music> Okay, so here are a few activities from the unit that we started last week. This will be a two week unit or pretty much until the end of the school year unit because <laughs> mom's tired and we're done, okay, for the school year. So pretty much this is an ocean themed activities that you can use for your preschoolers. Uh, even kindergartners, depending on whatever your kids level is and they're all fun and very easy to make or find. So here it goes. So first of all, I've been using these trays. I broke these back out again because it just makes cleanup a lot easier just to throw everything back on the trays. These are Dollar Tree cookie sheets. Um, they could be a little flimsy at times. Some of them have a little, you know, some <clears throat> issues with dents and they're starting to become uneven. But for a dollar, these pretty much, a dollar each, these lasted me all school year. So in this first one, this is a sequencing event. This is called Sequence Rummy. I got it from Lakeshore Learning Store. It was only $2.99. Very good for logic skills for ages three and up. Pretty much what you do is, or the way I do it, is I have my cookie sheet with dry erase marker. I wrote one, two, three on there. I give um, my three-year-old or two-year-old the stack not the stack, but they come in sequences of sets of three. So I'll hand them a set of three and in random order and they will put it in one, two, three order. For example, like on the front, so it has a little boy making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So step one would be get the bread. Step two would be to put the jelly and peanut butter on and step three would be to eat it. So as they're putting it in order and I'll tell them, oh, are you sure that's right? You know, we discuss whether that's the right order, if that's the proper sequence and you learn things like first, second, third first, next, and last, and you know, just the order of operations pretty much. So this is building on mathematical concepts of orders of operations and sequences of events. So they like that. Here we have a whale themed um, letter match up, pretty much uppercase to lowercase letter matching. This I did not laminate. All I did was put it in the clear protectors, as you can see. These are would be better if I printed them out on cardstock. So I recommend that if you use this printable, which I will link in the description box below, that you use cardstock for this. But they've been doing pretty well with them. As you can see, they're not all torn up or anything. So pretty much they just put lowercase a to uppercase a, lowercase b to uppercase b, so on and so forth. I have two pages for the rest of the alphabet. And they really enjoyed that. And it's just a good way for them to reinforce the uppercase and lowercase letters just for review or for just talking about the alphabet and getting that recognition of letters. Here is a little spelling activity for um, ocean themed spelling activity. Again, I will link it in the description box below. The words are crab, uppercase and lowercase, each one of them, again, with the uppercase and lowercase letter recognition. Crab, star, and fish are the three um, words. So there's a set of six cards and they come with these little circles, which again, cardstock would probably be a better option, um, but they made them through the week. And these, I cut them out and glued them on cardstock. So they are a lot more sturdy <clears throat> and they really enjoyed it. And definitely I will laminate these and save them for the future. Cause this is just great for blends um, learning that the C and the R make the cr sound, that the S and the H at the end of fish makes the sh sound, and the S and the T in the beginning of star makes the st sound. So that was fun. Um, Build a Crab loved it. They loved this one. This one was one of their favorites. Pretty much they roll the die, whatever number they land on. If the one, they find the crab part. And here they have, I cut out the crab parts and they built the crab. It was so cute. My, my kids really loved this. And again, the one-to-one -one correspondence of having to count and then match up the actual number to the, 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 the quantity to the actual number. So that was very fun. You can also use a die that has numbers on it to make it more simplified, which I, I use that for the two-year-old because, I mean, it was just easier for him than to sitting here and counting these tiny dots. But for my three-year-old, I use this die. Add the fish. 
So pretty much it's a little fish tank and it comes with fish and it comes with the numbers. And what I did is I used these addition cards with it. I put out the addition card next to it and it said two plus five and then I would have my three-year-old put out two fish from here and get the number two five get the number five and put out five fish and then they he added all the fish and then he found the proper number so that would be seven right there so that's one way you can do it you can actually use goldfish crackers as well which i plan on using this week i just ran out and bought some goldfish crackers so we can do this again with the goldfish crackers and they can eat them all up um and there's actually addition subtraction and greater than and less than sheets in here so that printable comes with a number of sheets so with, for the greater and than and less than you can um do it the same way but with the subtraction i plan on definitely using the goldfish crackers that way they can actually eat the the number and then actually get the answer after they eat the one that they were supposed to subtract very simple right here learning to count to 100s by 10 for my three-year-old he's almost four he'll be four next month but um this is a good activity for um, older preschoolers to start using um, skip counting skills we are counting by 10 to 100 so pretty much i just give him the stack of fish and he will put them in order from 10 to 100 counting by tens um i have to assist of course he knows the order but sometimes he you know forgets so you need to assist them in saying okay he'll say 30 is next but then he'll have difficulty finding the number 30 so i was like it's the one with the three in it so he would <laughs> the, uh, that would help him out that way so this is very simple just cut out some fish and write on them with the numbers. And here's another thing, I use a different color fish for this activity for them to count. They added bubbles, these are bubbles. These are pretty much glass gems from the Dollar Tree. So what I would do is I put out the number, my two year old loved this, I put out the number, whatever number it was, two, two. How many bubbles do we need? One, two. Two little bubbles coming up from the fishy loved it so these are just a few learning activities that we did this week that are under the sea or fish themed or just you know age appropriate like the sequence cards um i want to show you the books that we read this week and that we will continue to read library books into the abc which is a beautiful book by um deborah lee rose they enjoyed the pictures in this look at the pictures so it's an alphabet book but it shows you um, all the different animals that live under the sea, the barnacles, crab, dolphins, they loved it. Another book that we read is Rainbow Fish and the Big Blue Whale. They love rainbow fish. The glitter in the fish, which is, and, and these books, the Rainbow Fish books, these ones, Rainbow Fish and the Big Blue Whale and Rainbow Fish, are um, moral stories, just teaching about character concepts, like um, not to be selfish, how to share, how to communicate with others when you know when you're upset with someone, um, making friends and not being afraid to have conversations with people about things that uh, that they might be upset about. So, these are the three books that this unit is based on for them, for my um, two or three year old or um, they're almost three and four now. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will link in the comment section um, or in the description box where I got these principles. Okay guys, have a great week.